All right, so we are gonna be doing a Sheen haul update. Again, I don't even know if I'm saying the company name right because I keep hearing Shein or Sheen. So I'm just gonna go with Sheen. Before we get started, yes, I did replicate the outfit. The only thing that's different, I'm bald and sweatpants are a little bit darker in these ones, okay? <laughs> All right, so these are the sports bras that I'm gonna give you guys an update on. I'm not gonna be coming up close like I did before and do like my little pose here and there with a the voiceover. I just wanna do how I'm doing right now, talking right in front of the camera, explaining it to you and keeping it as short and simple as I can. So I'm gonna be reviewing this first and then we're gonna move on to whichever one I pick and choose. This one right here, I haven't worn it as frequently compared to these two. I'm gonna tell you the positive before I tell you about the negative. The positive thing here is that the coloring and everything has not faded. The labels are still intact and around this portion, it's still snug. Like everything's still nice and snug. Um, here's one thing though I will come close is I'm not wearing any pads. I don't like to wear pads in my sports bras and I think it looks good. I think it still looks good. But now here's the thing. It's the straps, guys. The straps is what really disappointed me. After three months of using both this like purple pinkish color and the black one, I don't know what happened, but the straps just automatically just loosen up. So I'm gonna show you. Like right around here, I could adjust it before I start my day. I could just make it, you know, to the point where it fits nice and nice and snug for me. But let's say after 10 or 15 minutes in, it just starts to loosen up so much where it's like my boobs just wanna hang out. <laughs> if anyone can tell me how to fix this, please let me know because this is actually really good quality. It's just the straps and it's with both of these and eventually this. So this is the Crossback Sports Bra that I mentioned in the, in the first video was not my favorite. Turns out it is. And now here's my number one reason why. Compared to this style of sports bra and this one, this one's more for light training, let's say light and stationary workouts. This one I can do whatever the hell I want and not feel paranoid that my boobs are gonna be all over the place or anything. Not that I have boobs, but it's just that paranoia that it's gonna pop out, it's just people can watch it jiggle. I just don't like that. I like everything to be as compressed as possible and not saying that this, this is super compressed, it just holds me right. That's all I'm saying, it just snugs me in the right places. The one thing that I still don't like, and I mentioned it before, I just don't like how this section looks. I think this is meant more to have pads on if you do have the proper padding, but I'm not a pad girl, so I wear this underneath my baggy shirt. Like I said before, after three months of using these two sports bras, the coloring has not faded yet and the hooks are still intact. I've noticed with certain sport like certain sports bras or just bras itself, I always have issues with the hooks and stuff. They have not they have not been destroyed yet. Thank you. I mentioned before and if you're new to watching this video, the one thing that I don't like is that this fabric underneath kind of shows a little bit when you are wearing it but if you don't mind that then by all means it's definitely worth it all right so that is my update on these sports bras like i said they're supposed to be short and simple i will put the links again underneath the description box let me know if you guys you know can help me out with the strap situation but that's technically it like they're good they're on a budget good quality is just a strap